Hey guys, welcome back to the radio shop. So today, as promised, we're going to go over something. The talk permit tone that normally you would get in conventional analog is now available for P25 Digital using Simplex. Now, in one of my videos before, I had stated that it's not possible to use P25 Digital. However, I stumbled across this as the radios were coming back from from the police. The county prosecutor and his investigative team were able to track down the people who stole over six boxes of these. My radios, my pagers, my previous employee had stolen them. So, you know, I was tinkering around, making sure that, you know, everything was working right. And I found it completely by accident. So these two radios can talk on P25 Simplex and give you the talk permit tone. To show you, today we're going to be using the my old XTS 5000. The one from my many early couple videos with the FDNY knob. And I picked up a couple of these new mics. I know that they're commander mics, but uh, I'm not sure what the story is behind these. I gotta do a little bit more research. I got a box of like 30 of them. And to get into it, you'll see that on the channel, right up there, that little icon means that it's in secure. The radio has to do the talk permit tone, but it'll only do it if you have encryption enabled. If you have the encryption enabled, it'll do P25 digital with the talk permit tone. And to show you, keep an eye on my APX 7000. Here we go. Radio Radio test test one, two. One, two. Test test one. one. And it used to be that long exaggerated push to talk tone for your conventional radio to radio P25. Radio, radio test, test one, two. one two. You can you see can my see radio, radio ID, ID coming across the, the XTX 5000. Using talk number one. one. Now, again, same XTS 5000. Radio, radio test, test one, two. one two. You can see, you can my, see radio my radio ID coming, coming across, across again. again. As long as the system key. Sorry guys, I got tight space to work with here, but yeah, I completely figured it out. I thought for a long time that the XTS 5000 and 2500, which this works for too, by the way, I tested it. The XTS 5000, 2500, 1500, not the 3000s. 3000s doesn't do it. And it also works with Model 1s and Model 2s, 800 megahertz, 400 megahertz, uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. And I completely found this by accident, but you have to have the secure encryption enabled. So you either have to have AES-256, DSOFB, DSXL, or just regular ADP encryption, which comes standard in most of the P25 radios from Motorola, as long as you have the right flash code. So yeah, that, that was a pretty cool little feature. I, I know a lot of you guys use P25, uh, you know, simplex. You want the awesome talk, uh, talk permit tone. Ooh, I gotta take a minute here. Still gotta go through that damn physical and speech therapy from the stroke so just bear with me <clears throat> so the xts 5000 does the talk from a tone um i also like these mics by the way i wasn't too sure about these i know they're quite dated you know that everyone's onto the apx but the 5000s are still great and especially now that i figured this out oh you guys are gonna love it so let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'm going to do another video once I get the workshop all squared away. I got to 
clean up this mess and go get the rest of my inventory from the police department. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw the last video, but an employee of mine, or several employees of mine, were supposed to be watching and running my business for me while I had my, my two strokes. Um, while I was out, I couldn't use my left side. I couldn't move my left arm, my left leg too well. So I had to do a lot of physical therapy. I gave them all of my text messages related to my business, handling my customer relations, placing and processing orders. And, oh, sorry. <clears throat> it didn't really go too well. They wound up stealing most of these. Um, they also stole some pagers and tried selling them. And I got in a shipment of APXs, and I also got in a crap ton of these. The XPR 7500s in UHF, VHF. And they cleaned out the entire workspace. In my previous videos, you saw that my workspace up here, my shelves, I was in the middle of painting, and everything just had to, had to stop because of this. Um, they even stole the Xbox, the TVs, and they thought that I wasn't going to get better. And then I asked my wife what was going on with the business, how everything was going. And she paid a visit to the workshop. And when she went inside, she found out that everything was gone. The power was cut from the outside, so the security cameras didn't catch anything. The only thing that we went off of was the RFID tags that we hand out to our employees to scan in and out of the front door, back door, and through the <clears throat> through the side, I guess you can say it's a little shutter hatch to take our deliveries in. And when she when she looked up the log, we found out that it was two employees that thought because they cut the power that the RFID generator to scan your key fob they thought it was out of service they thought it was on battery backup but i had it connected to the computer so it still processed and recorded who came and who went that's how we were able to figure it out so i signed myself out went home and did some physical therapy at home and got right back to the nose put my nose back to the grind and came back here so i thought you guys would really like that um if you can share with your friends you know i'm not sure how everyone's going to take to the video i apologize for rambling but again i owe you guys an explanation <clears throat> it's been a long time it's been a rough year but if you like the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video